Put a finger down if your first grade friend was killed by the Iowa. Put a finger down first grade friend unfair killed by the Iowa. Put a finger down if you were suffocating with tear gas in the car when you were a kid. Put a finger down if the F-16 plane sound still steps your heart when you hear it. Put a finger down if you still have nightmares of being chased coming home from school. Put a finger down if you're indigenous people being ethnically raised. Put a finger down if you've seen so much hate, racism, discrimination, apartheid. Put a finger down, put a finger down. I don't know why we play these games. This message is directly to our Israeli friends, community friends, people that we live around. These are the people that go on our comments as activists. They comment, but they fight, they argue. They're arguing and fighting. And one thing I wanted to explain here is that our idea is to bridge the gap. Our idea is for us to get closer, for those children to be safe, to be heard, and for the hostages, the Israeli hostages, to go home with their families. Our goal is the same. Our goal is peace. We're only gonna accomplish this with peace. But the one thing I wanted to mention is that when we put content out there, most of these people are volunteers. Almost everyone here is a volunteer. There's students, there's professionals. I'm very busy myself. I have busy life, work, family, children. I, I'm very busy as well. But I have this thing that bothers me. There's something called humanity, and I know you have it. And that's why you're advocating to bring the hostages home. If we need a resolution, we have to meet in the middle. And we have to communicate and not keep attacking each other. These comments are not constructive. Our goal is to bridge the gap, and our goal is to communicate, and our goal is to save these kids. And it's not that we, we hear this tangible voice that comes at night and tells us where's the humanity at, and that's why we're asking you. No, we don't hear a voice. It doesn't work that way. We don't hear a crazy voice at night, an imaginary voice that makes us, gives us energy to put up with all these hurtful comments. No, we hear this voice on our phones. It's a real voice. It's not imaginary. It's a real voice that we hear those children asking us for help. So starting with the opposition, we need you. We need you with us. We need you to understand. And we understand your pain as well. We need to work together to resolve this.